we're kept nine months away. I know a lot's happened uh, in the personal life, and uh, I'm just curious. I mean, did you need this full time off? Were you hoping to be back sooner? Uh, I definitely want to be back sooner. Obviously, I fought Aspen in April, and you know, I mean, my hand is what happened. And so it wouldn't have been that long, but, um, you know, I mean, grew up doing all kinds of sports, jamming fingers, doing everything. I wouldn't have thought that this hand injury would have been such a pain in the butt. But it took longer than expected, and so, eh. I guess you got to do some great personal things, though, during that time away. I guess how much different is, is life right now is, you know, expecting to be a mom? Man, it's so different. I mean, I just, I still can't wrap my head around it. I can't, like, explain things. But you want to talk about, like, a different level of motivation, excitement. It's just, it's so much different emotions. And, you know, I feel like a very different calm this week just with everything. Um, like I said, I mean, the motivation is very different. It's exciting. And I just feel like I'm already passionate about what I do, but everything is just heightened. All my emotions are heightened. And then not to mention, I mean, I'm not a very emotional person, but uh, somehow this situation has kind of turned me into a big baby. I keep crying with everything. <laughs> Well, listen, you come back and it's a big fight, right? I mean, they give you number two in the division. I guess what were your immediate thoughts when they gave you this matchup? It, it seems like a, a really important one in the division. Oh, absolutely. I expected this fight, honestly. Uh, I would be surprised if it wasn't this one. And so, you know, I'm just excited. I mean, you know, great opponent, great opportunity, um, and that's exactly what I'm seeing this as. She's just another stepping stone in my way back to that world title shot. So, What do you think about the matchup itself, right? Because she's been successful, but not always the most exciting, I guess, of, of fights. So, I mean... What are your thoughts on her as an opponent, and is that a challenging type of style to get ready for? I think, honestly, between our styles, it's going to create for an exciting fight. Whether she brings that, I'm going to bring an exciting fight. You know, I mean, I've put in so much work, and I'm ready to get this fight out of the way and on to the next and things and enjoying life on the outside. It's been a super long camp. But, uh, you know, like I said, I mean, I think it'll create for an exciting matchup. Uh, I've watched her, I've studied her, I've done the things that we're supposed to do and everything, and I have a great idea, but my main focus is on me and what I can do and what I can control, and I feel like I'm the veteran in this. I not feel like it. I am the veteran in this, and, you know, I mean, I've already been up there and fought for a world title and fought the opponents that she's fought. Everybody hypes her up, oh, she's fought former champions and this, that, and another. Well, you know, I've done it too. The credit needs to be given, and so, uh, you know, I mean... Respect to her. I'm excited for the fight, but, you know, I plan on going out there and getting my hand raised for sure. So here's what I'm most curious about is you, you beat number two, right? Real case for a title shot at that point, but you also have a baby on the way, and I'm sure you're going to be wanting some time away. So, like, have you thought about that at all? Like, hey, you get a big win on Saturday. Is it, hey, we're calling for a title shot, or is it, hey, we're calling to chill for a little bit and be a mom, and then we'll figure out what's next? Heck no. Heck no. I'm on a roll. Like, you can't deny me. Five fight win streak after Saturday, like, I'm right there give me my world title shot back. I know, you know, I mean, they're going to do what they do, and I don't know what Amanda's doing at this point and everything else, but, you know, I would actually love to fight Saturday, come out of the fight healthy, um, and then take a couple weeks off, enjoy myself, breathe a little bit, and then uh, I would honestly love to fight in May and have that opportunity, and then the baby's born in June, and then focus on being a mom for a little bit, so... Nice. Last thing for me, with that in mind, that a title shot, you know, maybe being the balance. I mean, do you go in there with an idea that, like, this has got to be a statement-type performance? Like, it's not enough for me to just get a, a split decision win or something like that. i got to make a performance. Honestly, I mean, yeah, every fight, you sit there and you think about those things. But in reality, like, I take the pressure off of it with that. You know, everybody's like, oh, huge fight, number two. And then world title shot after that. For me, like I said, it's just another stepping stone. And so a fight's a fight, and my job is Saturday, and that's what I'm focused on. And, you know, it doesn't matter number two, it doesn't matter number 10. Like, it's another challenge. And, you know, at the end of the day, I want to win that challenge. And so that's where my focus is at and just focusing on the simple things that I can control. And then we'll see what opportunity arises from there. But, I mean, like I said, I, my personal opinion, five fight win streak, you can't deny me. So. Eric Cal. Uh, next week is the three-year anniversary of your loss to Holly Holm, but since then you've gone on this amazing streak. Like back when you when you when you suffered that loss at UFC 246, like what were the emo like? Did you think like I'm not, I'm not gonna get another shot at this title again, or like what like what what kind of change and like but like what were you thinking three years ago? Um, well, that fight. <laughs> um, I don't think we should list that as a fight. It should probably be a hug match. Uh, there was a lot of emotions that came from that because obviously when Holly and I fought the very first time in 
14 or 15, whenever that was, um, there, it, there was a lot of controversy on who actually won that fight. So obviously that was a fight that I really wanted to redeem myself on, and then it kind of played out the way it did. Um, and, you know, I kind of just told myself that that shit would never happen again. And so, and then it comes down to the whole thing, you know, I mean, obviously this is a physical sport, and everybody's just like, oh, man, the physicality in it. Yes, absolutely, but it's 90% mental, too. And so that's where it shifted for me. As much work as I'm putting in daily with um, training, I started putting the work in uh, doing sports psychology and just really getting serious with things. And, you know, I mean, if I'm going to wake up and I'm going to go put my body through the ringer every single day, I need to put everything into it. And so, uh, honestly, I could just say that I've really just matured with things, and I think it's really starting to show in all my performances. Awesome. Thanks for sharing that. Yeah.